Hey guys, so 2022 is pretty much a wrap, and I think it was a pretty good year. It wasn't a great year. I mean, we didn't have like win, 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 win like we had in years past. However, this year we did have some significant wins. My little community won the challenge for their ordinance. Um, we saw the ordinance take down a federal contractor. Um, Gays Against Groomers was launched literally six months ago, and we have changed the landscape in as little as six months and we're continuing to change the landscape i can't wait to see what this group of people does in the next six months because these people are dedicated these people are passionate and when you combine dedication and passion there's very little that a group of people can't accomplish when they have passion and dedication for a cause so that's going to be my message for 2023 is find your passion and dedicate yourself to that passion um i found my passion through activating other people's. Uh, I was listening to a podcast yesterday with Dr. Jordan P Peterson and Namala from uh, PragerU, and it was interesting to listen to them talking about their own personal growth, their own personal journey. And I was taken aback when Dr. Jordan Peterson said, oh, an activist is one of the lowliest callings you could ever have. And I laughed and I said, you know what? He's absolutely right. However, that's one of the reasons why I don't call myself an activist. I'm not out there to make money for myself. I'm not out there to make money for a cause. I'm out there to actually change hearts, change minds, and change the direction that our country's going. So in that instance, I think it's a very noble cause because you're putting yourself out there. You're putting yourself in, a, in an uncomfortable position for others. And I think that's a very noble position. I think he called it conscientiousness. So I have a very conscientious um, existence where I exist and I see other people um, and I put myself in their position and I'm willing to put myself in an uncomfortable position in order to benefit strangers that I've never even met. Um, so I think that's going to be the key going into 2023 is conscientiousness and limiting our narcissism. Um, narcissism can be, you know, it's this attention to yourself, this idea that you are can be anxious, you can be bad. It's taking those bad things and bringing them to yourself. You don't need to bring them to yourself. You have to recognize them, but that doesn't mean you have to bring them into yourself because that was only going to break you down and bring you down. We don't need to bring you down. We need to build you up. Um, so I would encourage people to focus on their conscientiousness of the world around them um, because your actions affect more than just you and your immediate family. Your actions affect hundreds of people around you um, simply by way of existing because in this social media world when you post a video it doesn't go to just 10 five people it, before you know it it's hit a thousand people and in some cases a million people so we all have a responsibility a duty to um, help our communities to help the next generation and that's one of the reasons why i started mario presents and why i'm going to keep it going in 2023 uh, i was elevated to chapter lead director for gays against groomers because of the experience that i have working with teams, trying to form teams, trying to help them form a network. Uh, and I'll probably be traveling to get these guys off the ground and show them the ropes. I'm excited to see what the future holds. I'm excited to see what 2023 holds. And if 2022 wasn't a good year for you, that's okay. That's the beauty of a new year. You have a new year, a fresh start, and a fresh take on everything that you've done. Everything in the past can stay in the past. You've got this new year. It's time to make it a great one. I'll talk to you guys soon. I love you guys all. Mwah! Bye, guys.